If you are not selling any content in your app, you don't need to set up in-app purchases, and you can skip this video. However, the products that people can download still need to be set up in app specifications, settings, in the AVE portal. Please refer to that video to make sure you've set up your free content correctly. Now let's take a look at the Manage In-App Purchase section of iTunes Connect. When you click on that section, it should be empty because you haven't set up any purchases yet. Click on Create New. This is a list of all the types of purchases you can make within your app. Consumable purchases are not supported within our system. These types of purchases are for things like a game app. It is a purchase that can be made again and again, such as a sword. For example, in an app, your sword or shield could break and you might need to purchase another one of the same product. For the purchase of content such as an issue or a book within an app, you must set them up as non-consumable purchases. If I select non-consumable purchase, you are first asked to enter a reference name. This is just the name of the purchase as you would see it in sales reports and on iTunes Connect. The product ID in iTunes Connect must exactly match the product ID you set up in AVE Portal in order for the purchases to occur. Please double check your product ID and paste it from the AVE Portal to iTunes or vice versa. Next you can choose whether it was cleared for sale and a pricing tier. These in-app purchases need to be submitted when the app is submitted, so you can also submit them ahead of time. For example, in AVE Publishing, you would make all of your issues for the next year in titles. Then you could create each product in the app specs settings section. Now that you had all of your product IDs, you could build all of your in-app purchases for the next year and submit them to Apple ahead of time. Next up is the in-app purchase details. You need to choose the language, the display name, and the description for the purchase. For example, this is the February 2013 edition of the Aquafatis newsletter. For hosting content with Apple, you can choose No. If you need to write any special requirements for the Apple reviewers, you can use the Review Notes section. You are also required to supply a screenshot for review. This is only viewed by the reviewers by Apple and just needs to be a sample of your work. For example, it could be a cover from past months if you are submitting a group of in-app purchases for next year.